Hello children, I'm back here with the same story, the great bear and the little bear. Before we continue with the story, what happened next? Let's see the flashback of the story. As we know, Callisto and her son was living together very happily. And some few people were very jealous of beautiful Callisto. They went to Goddess and said that Callisto is saying she is the most beautiful woman than Goddess. So Goddess became angry and she cursed Callisto and she made her into bear. And she was looking ferocious. Ferocious means very cruel and violent. And after that, her son was separated. And the son was living with wood fairies in a hut. Starting, she used to go near the hut to see her son. But after some times, she was scared to go near the hut. Why? Because a um, few men's dogs were going to kill Callisto. So she was scared about these hunters and the wild animals too in the forest. So she planned to go and hide herself in the thick forest. As the day passed, month passed, she was staying all alone, very sad in the forest. So one winter she, night, she had a dream about Arcus, her son. And she wanted to see him. So she planned that in spring, she will go and see Arcus. As she started her journey to meet Arcus, one evening the bear was wandering in a wood. So as she was moving in the wood, what happened? Suddenly she saw a handsome young hunter. Hunter means a person who hunt wild animals. And that hunter was going to shoot an arrow at a bird sitting on a branch. As she was seeing this handsome hunter, she realized he was Arcus, her son, who has grown up into beautiful, handsome men. And he was hunting a bird sitting on the branch. Suddenly, Arcus also felt someone is watching him. Behind him, somebody is there. Yes, and when he was feeling that, he missed the arrow and the birds flew away. Let's see in the next period what happened next. Okay, children, till here the story you came to know. And in the next period, we are going to see what happened in the next. Okay? Bye!